Hello everyone, Bridget with Altenew. I'm here to walk you through layering for the Craft of Flower Orchids Layering Die Set. This 11 piece die set creates six unique orchids as well as three branches. Here's an image of a project you could possibly create. On the back, you'll see the layering guide which shows step by step how to create each of the six orchids. As well, it indicates the ink colors used to create the project example shown. Here are the six dies laid out to create each of the orchids in order. On the right hand side, you'll see two dies. These dies create just the flower centers. We'll begin by creating the first orchid with rubellite. We'll put that into place. Next, we'll bring in a pinkalicious piece. The bottom of the petals are going to align at about seven o'clock and about three o'clock on the previous piece. We'll put those into place and next we're going to look at this groove right there, the nine o'clock position, and pay attention to the white space. The third piece is Razzleberry and looks like a snail. The snail's back has a little indentation that aligns perfectly with that petal at about the nine o'clock position and that groove. And please pay attention to the white space within the snail's body. At the top of the snail's body, it is rounded, and that's where we'll put the final piece, which is Cosmic Berry. I am using double-sided adhesive sheets, which help with the small pieces. Additionally, the tweezers also help to get them into place where they're supposed to be. Next, we'll look at the second orchid. We're starting with rubellite. We will look at the center. We will also look at the seven o'clock line, the one o'clock line, and the four o'clock line to bring in our pinkalicious piece and align these into place. These lines add depth and dimension, but also help with finding where to put your pieces. Next, we're going to look at this nine o'clock line. We're also going to look at the groove of the flower right there that has been made. This piece is Razzleberry and looks similar to a lobster claw. The right hand side we're going to put in the groove of the flower and the left hand side is going to align approximately with the nine o'clock on the left. Down on the bottom, it goes about halfway through the petal on the left. Next, we're looking at the top of the right hand side of the lobster claw, where we'll put our burnt red piece following the lines of the piece. Finally, we'll use a cosmic berry piece that resembles a cucumber. It will go about halfway up the burnt red circle and follow along the rounded edge of the flower. We will now move on to orchid number three, beginning with a rubellite piece. We are going to use the flower center at the bottom, that rounded edge, to put in the pinkalicious piece. Please take note there's an indentation going up here to put the third piece, which is Razzleberry, and resembles a trident. Align the center of the trident up with that indentation. The fourth piece is going to be Cosmic Berry, and it looks like a little egg, which will fit perfectly on that trident spoke. The final piece is a burnt red piece that looks like a little heart, and that's going to go right under the egg. There is a scotch of space there. However, it doesn't go below the spoke. The bottom of the heart should line up where the spoke of the trident ends. For the fourth orchid, we're going to start with Pinkalicious. We're going to look at that center area in there to align the Razzleberry piece. We want to leave no white space in the top center there's some in the bottom and that's okay. Next we're bringing in a rubellite piece that will follow the left hand side curve of the Razzleberry piece. We will then bring in another piece that is going to align right in that indentation and follow down. So at the kind of nine o'clock point where that is we're going to insert the Razzleberry piece. Finally we're going to bring in a cosmic berry piece that looks like a rounded rectangle and we put the point at seven o'clock and match. And that finishes off the fourth one. For orchid number five, we're beginning with rubellite. We'll bring in pinkalicious, and it's gonna follow that seven o'clock curve and pay attention to not leave any white space over at the three o'clock area. We wanna butt the pinkalicious piece right up in that space. Then we will bring in a razzleberry piece. And this piece as well looks like a lobster claw. So we're going to put the center of the claw right in the center of the floral. The other piece will land at about three o'clock on the right. Next, there's a little indentation on this piece, which we're gonna bring in burnt red, and it looks like a little heart. Finally, for our sixth 
And final orchid, we're going to begin with rubellite. We'll bring in pink alicious that's going to go at about 11 and about 1 o'clock. So we'll put the petals there. Again, use these lines to help you get your orchids perfectly lined up. We will then bring in the next piece and it focuses on that center and at about four o'clock, we put the little trident piece at the indentation going up right there in the center and the other thing hits the four o'clock. And we're using Cosmic Berry to bring in a little egg to add to the trident piece. And finally, we will bring in Burnt Red with a little piece that looks like a heart and it fits right on the curve. I hope this video was helpful in layering together your Craft of Flower Orchid. Here's some beautiful inspiration from our amazing designers. To find out more about Craft of Flower Orchids and other available products, please visit us at altanew.com.